Program 2000 Plus, usually heard at this time, will be presented next week at its regular time. <laughs> Family Theater presents Charlie Ruggles and Arthur Lake. From Hollywood, the Mutual Broadcasting System, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents Arthur Lake in General Pumpkin's Holiday. Now, here is your host, Charlie Ruggles. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. First, a word about Family Theater's purpose. That purpose is to encourage people everywhere to pray especially to pray in family groups. That's all. Hmm. Now to our drama starring Arthur Lake in General Pumpkin's Holiday. Once upon a time in the town of Pineville, USA, the people were extremely depressed because it had rained Sunday after Sunday. One thing the people of Pineville weren't praying for was rain. Six Sundays in a row it rained, but every Monday morning it was nice and sunny. Also on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, even Saturdays were radiant and warm. But come Sunday, ah me, they were a sad, disconsolate folk, these people of Pineville. Then one day, it happened. It was a young man named Peter Bright who made the sunshine in Pineville once again. It all started one Sunday morning as Peter came to work. Peter worked in Mr. Flugel's flower shop. And here comes Peter now. Well, well, Mr. Flugel isn't here yet. Mm, shame on you, old boss. <clears throat> well, off to work we go. Up goes the window. Ah. <sighs> What a beautiful day for a holiday. <laughs> Good morning, my little daffodils and my sweet little petunias. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> my, my, you all look very beautiful this morning. Oh, the flowers that bloom in the spring, Trella. The flowers that bloom in the spring. Now, let's see what Mr. Flugel has on his desk this morning. Let's see on his memo pad here. <laughs> oh, here we are. Monday, May the 5th. Ha, <laughs> ha, Hey, holiday! Oh my, no wonder Mr. Flugel isn't here today. Gosh, I wonder what holiday it is. Uh, let's see what the calendar says. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday, May, May 5th. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. General Pumpkin won the Battle of Chippewa uh, Chippewatomi in 1895. Oh, is that important? Hey, must be. Must be if Mr. Flugel took the day off. Hmm. Let's see, General Pumpkin. Must be a relative to Custer. Hmm. Custer and Pumpkin. <laughs> My favorite pies. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, holiday. What do you know? Say, I wonder if Margie knows about this. Hmm. I'll call her at the bank. Uh, hello. Uh, first National Bank, please. Ah. <laughs> Good morning, Pineville First National Bank. Oh, good morning, Margie, honey. Why, Peter, good morning. Hey, hey Margie, uh, do you feel like a chocolate soda? Oh, Peter, don't be silly. I'm busy. Mm-hmm. So, uh, since when, Miss Margie Cooper, do you work on holidays? Holidays? Uh -huh. Are you out of your mind? Oh, Peter, I'm much too busy for jokes. Mm -hmm. Jokes, you say, huh? This is serious business. Who ever heard of a bank being open on a holiday? Hey, you'd better let me speak to uh, Mr. Hotchkiss. Oh, now, Peter, Mr. Hotchkiss is president of this bank, and he's a very busy man. Now, look here, young lady. I'm a steady customer at that bank. I'm good for $2 worth of nickels and change every morning. <laughs> now, I uh, wish to speak to the president, please, uh, Mr. Hotchkiss. Will you be good enough to connect me? Peter Bright, you're out of your mind. Ah, ah, ah. Me thinks I shall take my business to Howard's Drugstore hereafter. But, Peter, you can't. I'm sure Mr. Hotchkiss is waiting for my call, young lady. Very well, Mr. Bright. Yes? Mr. Bright is on the phone, Mr. Hotchkiss. Who? He says it's important. 
Very well, put him on. Hello? Oh, oh uh, Mr. Hodgkiss, uh, this is Peter Bright. Who? Uh, uh, Bright. Spelled B-R-Y-T-E. B as in blossoms, R as in roses, Y as in uh, violets, uh, <coughs> a T as in thistle. Yes, e yes, yes. What can I do for you? Close the bank. Close the... What? Since when, Mr. Hotchkiss, does a bank stay open on holidays? Now, look here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Blossom. No, no, uh, Bright. <laughs> look, today is a holiday, Mr. Hotchkiss. A holiday? A very important holiday. Did you know that on May the 5th, 1895, General Pumpkin won the Battle of Chippewatomie? Did you know that? Who in blazes is General Pumpkin? Oh, now, Mr. Hotchkiss, you a bank president? Y you've never heard of... Uh... Oh, shame on you, Mr. Hotchkiss. Now, look here. I'm a very busy man. Now, 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 really. Were you too busy to close on February the 12th? No, but what is that? And on February the 22nd? Now, look or here. Or on the 4th of July? Of course not. Yeah, of course not. That's... Then, why not on May the 5th? Why not? Because... Now, now. What sort of an excuse is that? And one other thing, Mr. Hotchkiss. Now, <laughs> wouldn't you feel silly if the Pineville Federal Bank closes and you remain open? What will people think? What will they say? Now, look. Yeah, well, they'll say, <clears throat> well, if the First National Bank needs business that badly, perhaps it's not a safe bank. Young man, we have more depositors than any other bank of this. <laughs> yeah, but not for long, because when word gets around that... Stop it, stop it. Now, see here, young man, who says we can't afford to close on a holiday? <laughs> if federal closes, we'll close. Why, we can buy and sell federal any day in the week. <laughs> Bully for you, Mr. Hotchkiss. Tell them we'll close immediately. Mm. I'll show these federal people the First National is a pride of Pineville. Mm. Yes, sir, the first is second to none. Mm. Yes. Uh, can I quote you, Mr. Hotchkiss? Positively, Mr. Uh, Thistle. Uh, no, a uh, bride. <laughs> well, goodbye and a happy Chippewatomie Day to you, sir. <laughs> And that's how it all began. But wait, look who's coming into the flower shop now. Mr. Flugels himself. Uh, the door was locked. Locked. My, my, my. Somebody might have tried to get... Uh, where's Peter? 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 Huh? 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 Uh. <coughs> oh, heavenly petunias. This hay fever is killing me. Now, what's happened to Peter? He's never been this late before. There's so much to do, so much to do. A wreath for the Williams party, three corsages for the O'Farrell party, and there's a poke for that new party just moved into town. Now, what's that name again? Oh, dear, dear, dear. I made a dude of it on my memo pad. I hear you. Oh, yes. Holiday. A poke for Mr. Samuel Holiday. What did he say? Mr. Samuel Holiday? Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Peter. But to the rest of the town, Peter was a hero. And Peter's holiday spread through the town on the wings of spring. And in one hour's time, all the stores of Pineville were closed shut. And the signs on the doors said, Close for Peter Bright's holiday. <laughs> But there was one man in the town of Pineville who was very unhappy about Peter's holiday. And here he comes now into Dingle's department store. His name is Mr. Dingle. Plumber? Plumber, where's Plumber? Yes, Mr. Dingle, coming, Mr. Dingle. Here I am, Mr. Dingle. What is it, Mr. Dingle? Plumber, what's happening here on Main Street? All the stores on the street are closing up. What's going on, an epidemic? Well, what is it? Speak up, man. It's a holiday, sir. Everyone says it's a holiday. What? What kind of a holiday? What do you mean, closing up? Dingle's department store is not closing up. Why, we can't close up. Today's our 25th anniversary sale. Well, yes, sir, I know, sir. They can't do this to me. Who's behind all this? Who started it? Peter Bright, sir. So they say. Oh, well, who? Mrs. Bright's boy, Peter. Peter, Peter Bright! That young feather brain will... It's fantastic. It's impossible. Get me the city council. No, get me the mayor. I want to talk to the mayor. Yes, I'm getting him, sir. Let me talk to McGillicuddy. Letting a young whippersnapper like that call a holiday. Why, that's the craziest loony. Don't stand there. Get me Mayor McGillicuddy. Yeah, but here is the mayor, All sir. right, give me the phone. Hello, Mac. 
Now, look, Diggle, I know what you're calling about. I had nothing to do with it. I did not declare a holiday. What do you mean you had nothing to do with it? Why didn't you? You're the mayor, aren't you? Well, don't blame me. It's Hotchkiss's fault. Uh, Hotchkiss's fault. He, he closed the bank. That, that's what started the whole thing. The bank closed and everybody else followed. Hotchkiss, that old fool. Who told him to close up? Uh, Mrs. Bright's boy, Peter. That Bright boy again, huh? Is that young imbecile running the whole town? You put him under lock and key, do you hear? Oh, I, I will, Diggle. I've, I've already had a warrant issued for his arrest. Don't see how this could have happened myself. First I heard of it, I was having a drink of water at the Hall Fountain this morning, you know. Having a drink of water. I'm losing money. The town's off on a holiday, and he's having a drink of water. Plumber, oh, yes, get sir. me Hotchkiss at the Hearst National. Oh, yes, sir. That old fool, what's the matter with him? Letting a boy talk him into closing his bank. An executive, he calls himself... I wouldn't trust him with a piggy bank. Here he is, sir. Do you hear me, Hotchkiss? Hear what? I wouldn't trust you with a piggy bank, that's what. What piggy bank? Who is this? Horatio Dingle, that's who. What do you mean by closing up your bank today, starting this holiday stampede? No, no, Dingle, I'm not to blame. Now, don't be hasty, Dingle. Hotchkiss, if you don't do something about this holiday, so help me, I'll start a run on your bank that'll... No, no, Mr. Dingle, don't be hasty. You get yourself down to the city hall and get that McGillicuddy started on opening up this town. It's got to be done. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'll do all I can. And open up your bank immediately. Well, I... I can't. My cashiers are all gone, and... I was all packed to go to. Oh, where? On a picnic. <laughs> Today's a holiday. I mean, I thought I made a... I mean... Uh... And so all the people of Pineville went off on a holiday. There was hardly anyone left in the town. They were all in Pineville Park outside the city limits. There were people everywhere in Pineville Park that day. There were ball players on the ball field and golfers on the golf course and picnickers on the picking grounds and of course the children were there under everybody's feet yelling and scampering and playing in the sunshine. <laughs> it was a wonderful day for the tradespeople too. Organ grinders, balloon vendors, ice cream salesmen. Ah yes sir, it was a wonderful holiday for the people of Pineville. And everybody said, Thank heavens for Mrs. Bright's boy, Peter. And in the mayor's office, they were speaking of Peter, too. McGillicuddy, is that warrant out for his arrest yet? Yes, the sheriff is out looking for him now. When I get through with him, his name will be Mud. Oh, please, Dr. Kiss, not while I'm eating. I... <laughs> How can you eat at a time like this? Well, it's my lunchtime. A man must keep up his strength. Tiff. Have a piece of pie, show me. Uh, no, thanks. It was very good. It's pumpkin pie. Well, go on, go on, stuff yourself. This will be your last meal as mayor if you don't do something about that bright boy. I'd like to get my hands Here on he him. Here is, I... Mr. Mayor. Here's your man. Oh, uh, uh, thanks for the ride, Sheriff. Well, happy Chippewatomie Day, everybody. <laughs> oh, how are you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, boy. <laughs> pumpkin pie. <laughs> In honor of the general, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Hotchkiss. Uh, enjoying a holiday? Hmm? <laughs> well, uh, what can I do for you, gentlemen? Huh? Well, well speak up. Young man, what? do you realize what you've done? Uh, done? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Today's a holiday. <laughs> you realize what you have done to me? What's that? What'd you say? Do you realize what you've done to Mr. Dingle's 25th anniversary sale today? No. Where is everyone? Out in the Pineville Park, enjoying themselves. Well, what's wrong with that? General Pumpkin, this is Battle of Chipper, whatchamacallit. Who ever heard of them? What's so important? Well, it's important to Mr. Flugels, and it's important to the people of Pineville. <laughs> it's the first sunny holiday they've had in weeks. Peter. You know what I think? Right. You're just too lazy to work today. That's why you thought up this, this General Pumpkin. No, I, I didn't think that up. He, well, General Pumpkins, well, well, he's on the calendar. What calendar? Uh, Mr. Flugel's calendar. Or maybe you wanted to take Margie out for a chocolate soda or something. Hmm? That's why you did it. Mm, well, uh, that's right. I, I did have uh -huh. Margie. That's why you made me close my bank for a chocolate soda. Uh, you admit it, don't you? <laughs> chocolate soda. I could go for one myself. You could... <laughs> Quiet, Mac. Well, young man, so you had ulterior motives, didn't you? Well, uh, I, I, I don't know what you mean, Mr. Hotchkiss. Uh, what's wrong with a chocolate soda on a nice sunny day? Hmm. And what's wrong with a holiday on a nice sunny day? That isn't the point. I, I give up. Peter, you, you've got to get those people back into town or Dingle will ruin you. What'll Dingle do? 
What did you say? I said, what'll Dingle do? You... <laughs> Look, Peter. Yeah, uh... Look, my boy, you sent them out of town. Get them back like the Pied Piper, Peter. Like who? The Pied Peeper Piper. Uh, the Piper Pooter. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Well, sorry, Mr. Mayor. I think the people of Pineville needs a holiday. I'm sorry about Mr. Dingle, but maybe he needs a holiday, too. Me, Peter, my boy, don't you see? Our future in this town lies in your hands. We're important people in this town. We've worked hard all our lives to get where we are. Yeah, but where are you? You... <laughs> Too scared to take a little holiday because Mr. Dingle won't let you. Mm. Just how important are you, anyway? Mr. Dingle can't do a thing to me, so I'm more important than both of you. Oh, Peter, I want to be re-elected mayor of this town, and I can be, but it's up to Dingle. Peter, let's put it this way. You're a very bright boy. I can use a young man with your personality in my bank. Mm. I have a junior executive position open right now. It's yours, Peter, yeah, if you'll... Oh, I'm uh, very sorry, Mr. Hotchkiss. No bribes, please. <laughs> Besides, I don't want to be a junior executive. I'm in the flower business. Oh, I like the flower business. And I like flowers. Gladiolas are my favorites. Uh, what are your favorite uh, flowers, Mr. Hotchkiss? Poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Peter, for the last time... I... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That must be Dangle again. Dingle again. Dangle. You, look, you, you answer it, hot kiss. Oh, no. This is your office. You get it. Oh, I'm sure it's Dingle. Oh, oh what'll I say? Okay, well, I'm not as scared to answer. Let me have it. Hello, Mayor's office. Peter Bright speaking. Oh, there you are. Yeah, oh, hello, Mr. Flugels. It's Mr. Flugels. Uh, happy Chippewatomy Day, Mr. Flugels. <laughs> hey, uh, how are the petunias? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah, my... I've been looking for you, young man. What did you say? Happy chip uh, Happy chip of what? Uh, General Pumpkin, remember? Yeah, look, look. Hey, Mr. Flugels. Uh, you remember I saw it on your desk? You saw what on my desk? A pumpkin? Peter Bright, are you out of your bite? No, 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 no. On your memo pad. General Pumpkin. Uh, I mean, uh, holiday. Yeah. Holiday? Uh -huh, yeah, it was written on your memo pad. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Holiday. Yeah, that, that's right. Remember now? Yes, I remember. Uh, but you forgot to deliver the flowers to Mr. Holiday, and I yeah, had to... Uh, Mr. Holiday? Yes, Mr. Samuel Holiday. Uh, say that again. Mr. Samuel Holiday. Oh, wait. Oh, it can't be. What's the matter? Oh, what did oh, he say, Peter? What oh, is it? Well, well, speak up. Oh, it's all a mistake. A mistake? You mean the holiday? No, I, well, it's not a holiday. It's Mr. Samuel Holiday. I, well, I thought it was a real holiday, but it's Samuel Holiday. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, 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 what have I done? I don't understand your gibberish, young man, but I gather you've made a grave error. Is that right? A very grave error. Wonderful. Wonderful, we're saved, Hotchkiss, we're saved. Yeah. Uh, now, now, Peter, will you get the people back? Yes, tell them. Go on, go on, tell them all. You made a mistake. Well, tell them, tell them oh, to come back. I, I can't, I can't. They wouldn't listen to oh, me. you must, Peter. Yeah, but, and besides, oh, it's a perfect day for a holiday. I, I can't. You must, you've got to. You, you admit that you were wrong, don't you? He'll do it. Mac, get the sheriff to ride him down to the picnic grounds. Use the loudspeaker. Yeah, that's right, the loudspeaker. There's a speaker, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mac, 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 call the sheriff. Hey, you can't go in there, old I've got to see the mayor. Out of my way. Out of my way, you young whippersnapper. I'll blow a hole clean through you. Yeah, that's all right. Let him in, Sheriff. Let him in. Well, what's the matter there, old timer? Oh, oh nothing's the matter. I, I just come in to shake your hand, Mayor. Here's my hand, Mayor. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And I'm here as a committee of one to thank you for celebrating General Pumpkin Day in the city of Pineville for the first time. General Pumpkin's not important. We can't... Hold on there, young fellow. Them's fighting words. What do you mean he's not important, huh? Well, he sure is important to the veterans who fought the Battle of Chippewatomie. Hey, you go open that window. There. There. You hear? There, those. Those are the boys. Every one of them a veteran of the Battle of Chippewatomie. There's only 28 of them left. I ain't looking, no, sir, not until you listen to me. Well, but then I'm listening, old timer. Go on, I'm listening. Hey, young fellow, you're the one that started it, but don't let him talk you out of it now. We're right behind you. We fought the Battle of Chippewatomie in 1895, and we're ready to fight with him today. Just you say the word, Peter. Close that window. <coughs> you... Oh, my. Uh, you, you said that uh, you fought in the Battle of Chippewatomie? Fought it? Well, I, I was right smack in the middle of it. General Pumpkin's right-hand man, that was me. That's all over and forgotten. Now, it's not important. Is that so? It's what you say, young fella. But back in 1895, the people of this town erected a statue right on the spot where Pumpkin made his last stand. Oh, 
I, I was right after all. You huh? tell him, young fella. Ah, gosh. Pumpkin's last stand. Right in our town. You tell him, young fella. I never heard a pumpkin. Never or heard a, a pumpkin. Statue. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Never heard a pumpkin. Ask any Indian fighter now living, and he'll tell you plenty. Ask me, for instance. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, old timer. Hotchkiss, one of old timer is right. What about Dingle? What'll we say to Dingle? Yes, Dingle. What about Dingle? Yeah, why? What'll Dingle do? <laughs> It's uh, 11.35, Mr. Dingle. 11.35. They've got exactly 25 minutes to call an end to this holiday. 25 minutes more. That's all I'll give them. Well, look. Just look at this merchandise, Plummer. Beautiful merchandise. The most outstanding bargains this store's ever had. And not one single customer. Oh, I Why know. did you... Hey. Does this suit belong here, here on this rack? This suit's marked $24.95. Well, yes, sir. The sign says $50 suits. Mark down to twenty-four ninety-five. I know, I see the sign, but these actually are fifty-dollar suits marked down to twenty-four ninety-five. <laughs> these are supposed to be twenty-five-dollar suits marked down to twenty-four ninety-five. <laughs> Who's responsible for this? Who put those suits there? Well, I had the extra help bring up all the sale merchandise. Well, they got the wrong merchandise. Look at these shirts. They've actually got five-dollar shirts for two ninety-nine. Instead of three dollars shirts for two ninety nine, <laughs> the whole store is stocked with the wrong merchandise. Oh, I'm ruined. Me, yes, sir. Oh, plumber, get me some water. Do something. Yes, Don't sir. stand there. Do something. I, I get you some water. Never mind the water. What can we do? Well, um, um, today is a holiday. <laughs> Does that help, Mister Dingle? Never mind the holiday. I don't hol ho holiday. That's right. The holiday. That's it. We'll close the doors. That's it. Closed for the holiday. What is the holiday? I don't know. Well, never mind. Never mind. Plumber, get all the holiday signs. Yes, Washington's birthday, Lincoln's yes. birthday, Fourth of July, Armistice Day. Get them all out. Hurry. Yes, oh, Plumber, I'm saved. Thank heavens for Peter Bright's holiday. <laughs> it's the phone. I'll get it. Hello, Peter Bright speaking. Peter Bright, you've saved me. Your holiday is wonderful. Uh, but, but what's that, Mr. Dingle? It's Dingle. Let me listen in. I'm not here. Tell Mac to make it official. It's a marvelous day for a holiday. Tell Hotchkiss I'll see him in Pineville Park. And a happy Chippewatomie day to you, Peter. Yahoo! Hotchkiss Dingle said to make it official. Uh-huh, yeah. And he said, happy Chippewatomie Day, too. <laughs> I told you that man needed a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need a holiday, too. This has been a trying morning. Goodbye. Happy Chippewatomie Day to you, Peter. Always same to you, Mr. Hotchkiss. Hey, where, where are you going, young fella? We're all set for that march to General Pumpkin statue. It won't be necessary, old-timer. It's all right. I hereby declare this an official holiday. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Wait, wait till I tell the fellas. It's okay, fellas. It's official. The mayor said so. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yes. Say something, Peter. They want you. Oh, oh, oh they do? Oh, my. <laughs> well, uh, hi, uh, 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 fellas. Uh, thank you, fellas. Thank you for making this holiday possible for all the people of Pineville. Happy Chippewatomie Day, fellas. I would like to say a few words myself. <laughs> In honor of Peter Bright and General Pumpkin, I hereby declare the first sunny Monday in May to be known as Peter Pumpkin Day. <laughs> As mayor of this Peter town, Pumpkin Day. I have always believed in Peter? Holidays. Peter! Oh, oh, Margie! Peter, I've been looking for you. Uh, I have something oh, important to tell you. Oh, God. You have? Yes. And I feel like a chocolate soda now. Oh, wonderful. We shall always oh, celebrate. That's wonderful. Holidays. Well, happy holiday, Margie. Oh, happy Peter Pumpkin Day. <laughs> And that is the story of General Pumpkin's Holiday. You may not believe this story, so you'll have to take my word for it. Who am I? Well, I'm General Pumpkin.
this is this is Charlie Ruggles again. <clears throat> a friend of mine went to a meeting the other night at which the topic was atomic defense. I suppose a great many of these meetings are being held right now all over the world, and many perhaps right at this instant. At any rate, my friend came away as a member of a planning board, and it's his committee's job to make preparations for possible disasters of various sorts and to think up various preventative measures. You know, he told me, cities are always boasting about how self-sufficient they are until they have to prepare for some emergency. It's only then they seem to realize how dependent they are upon outside help. In fact, it's only when you survey conditions that you realize how dependent everyone is upon things that were placed in the earth, on the earth, and around the earth long before man came. I mean such things as air and water, wood, fuel, and minerals. We're so accustomed to summoning electricity out of a switch and water out of a faucet that we never really think of these things until we really think. My friend's words have given me plenty to think about, and out of that thinking comes this conclusion. Man has to look outside himself, too, not only for the things placed on the earth long before he came, but for someone who existed long before he did someone whom even the heavens cannot contain, God. And how do we call his help? Through prayer. But prayer is not to be thought of only in terms of disaster, for it's both a preparatory and a preventative measure, in fact, a mighty good course of daily action. Now, Family Theater again reminds you, the family that prays together stays together. More things are brought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you Arthur Lake in General Pumpkin's Holiday. Charlie Ruggles was your host. Others in our cast were Alan Reed, Ken Christie, Howard McNear, Herb Vigran, Gloria Grant, Ralph Moody, Junius Matthews, and Jim Nusser. The original story was written by Saul Seidman, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program, by the mutual network which responds to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent on our Family Theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of Family Theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to be with us next week when Family Theater will present Audrey Totter and Jeff Chandler in The Promise. Join us, won't you? <laughs> Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network, the Mutual Broadcasting System. 